Okay, cool, cool. Let's see. All right, so this is a very, very quick video on how to use this blue stacks thing for uh, your Raid Shadow Legends game. Um, for my idiot friend who doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Anyway, so it's a very, very quick video. So after you download it, um, you would have files that kind of look like this look like that I just have it on a folder in a folder because I don't want my home screen to be um, super cluttered so it's gonna look like this after you download it uh, there's plenty of links that you can go to I'm not gonna post one uh, maybe I will I don't know so anyway um, you open this one the the one that just says blue stacks um, afterwards you're gonna get a chance to like do a multi instance thing where you can uh, clone the blue stacks and then you can make multiple if you have multiple accounts you can but you don't if you only have one account you don't have to worry about this maybe I'll make a, a more in-depth video about it anyway so you open it up and it looks like it looks like this um, this is the the screen like you see this thing so hold on let me I'm gonna close it out so it looks like this and then you just, I play Raid Shadow Legends, so I just, um, I have my free account right now. I actually have it doing a, uh, an auto uh, thing. So I'm gonna, you click your main account, or it just, it's gonna open up to your main account. I just have to click it because I have two different instances. I'm gonna minimize it a little bit. just to show you. Okay. All right, so once it opens up, you know, you're gonna, if you, let's say you wanted to do, you wanted to farm for silver, you would go um, this is where I farm silver usually, stage 12-3 on Brutal. So then I have, you know, I'm trying to make some level 4s right now so I can like make, you know, like 4-star chickens in a way. So first you click to play. Um, now there's a way you can do it where like as soon as you start playing, it automatically starts doing the macro for you, which I'll show you in a second. But this is just how I do it. So I let it play once. So it goes through. All right, so now that it went through, um, what you're gonna do is there's a little clipboard thing right here. It's called Macro Recorder, okay? And it opens this up right here. And basically you would put Record New Macro. So when you click this, so I already have it set right here but I'll, I'll record a new one to show you. So you record a new one and it goes away for a second and you just click right here to replay, right? So then you go up here to stop the recording. So now I have this new macro recorded right here, right? The, the, it recorded that click I just did. So then you can edit the name like, you know, farming, whatever. So then you can go to the edit button right here, the settings, I'm sorry, settings button. You can click how many times you want to do it. So if it's like, a, if you're trying to level up a three star, normally that takes about 20 to 25 uh, games. For me, it takes about 20 because I have the, the little, um, what is it called? I forget that pass thing that gives you more silver. And I have some XP um, boosts. So for me, it takes about 20. So you can put like 20 games. Right now they're already level 26, so I'm gonna put like three, which maybe three, four more. Um, and then you can put how often you wanna do this for. So you can do, for me, it takes about eight seconds on a regular run. The fastest time is six, so I'm gonna put 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, the, the auto clicker in this macro is going to click right here at this little button. So then, after that, I don't do anything with the rest of it. I've done like the, the two times playback speed, but it doesn't seem to make a difference for me. Maybe it makes a difference for you. Um, 
and I don't click anything else. So that's it. You just put how many times you want to do it, and then you put how often you want it to be done. So for me, like I said, it takes about eight seconds. So I put 10 seconds because that's how fast my, my farmer is. So then I save it, and it's going to say changes saved. You exit out, and then you can just click play right here. And it's going to auto click the, um, the thing. So it goes through. And up here, you can see it's it's playing. It says, um, you know, it, the little play button is blinking. And it's this one. It's farming, running for a second time. So boom, clicks again automatically. I didn't have to do anything. So it goes through. Goes through again. And then it should click automatically. Boom. So yeah, if, if your farmer takes like a minute to get through, then we'll put like maybe one minute and 10 seconds just to kind of, because sometimes it, it freezes a little bit. So um, there's like that little bit of a lag. So for me, as you can see, he finished, or my speed farmer finished in eight seconds, but then it, it clicks it right away. So it's like a, there's a little bit of a delay for some reason. So it did it four times because that's how much I put it for. Oh, so I actually need one more game. The only... The only problem with this is that it doesn't automatically sell your stuff. I think there's probably a way you can do it so it can sell, but I just don't. I just, I take my time and I go to my, um, what's it called? Um, where my artifacts are and I just take the time to actually like click to sell all of those uh, items. So then I just, I just sell them all. But, um, so it, you know, it's not as efficient as the other, the, the auto clicker that's already in the Playerium, Playerium, Playerium app. Because on the Playerium thing, you can actually automatically sell it. But anyway, so that's how you do that. Um, and then let's say you wanted to upgrade uh, some kind of equipment. I'm going to talk you through that real quick. So this one, what's something good that I want to upgrade? So crit damage right here. So let's say you want to upgrade this, um, but you want it to be really, really fast. So what you would do is you would go right here to your settings and then you go to engine and you scroll down a little bit to where it says um, uh, this, the frame rate. So you put, I put 10. Um, I've never tried it when it's not on 10, so I don't know how it works if it's less than that, but I just put a 10. And then um, you can just exit out of it. And then you could put to upgrade to level 12 and it's a little bit glitchy. I don't know if you could tell, but you do that and it goes super fast. Your silver goes down quick. Saves a little bit of time. And it should be done now. Come on. There we go. So you just got to remember to go back to your settings if you're done, um, you know, uh, upgrading something. Change it back to 60. Oh, shit. Because otherwise the game's gonna look terrible. Like, you know, it'll. Well, here I'll show you how it looks if you don't change it back. It's gonna look so crappy. So you go back down to 10. Yeah, let's do that. And then see how it looks all ugly and glitchy. Everywhere else is gonna look terrible. But then as soon as you change it back to the normal 60 frames. Actually, what's it like if I do this? Oh, wow, it looks even better. Well, anyway, yeah, it's going to be... I'm just going to go back to 60. I don't know why they give you the chance to put it to 240. <laughs> I don't know. 60s should be fine. But anyway, that's how you do both of those things. So then, um, for me, um, you can record as many kind of macros as you want. So remember, it's this thing. You record a new one, click to replay, and then you should be able to just click play, and it'll it'll just form uh, whatever silver for you. And that's all I have.